Hello guys and welcome to my channel once again. And in this video we are going to solve one C2020 solutions to question number nine. And the question is two points X and Y are seven meters apart on the same horizontal ground. The angles of elevation of a point from X and Y are 50 and 70 respectively. Q is a point on X, Y produce that angle Y to P equals 90 degrees. I, we are to illustrate the information in a diagram. I, I, calculate correct to two decimal places the length of A, X, P, and B, K, Y. And B, we have to solve this equation. So now let's start. So let, re let us read the question again. Two points, X and Y, are seven meters apart on the same horizontal ground. So let us assume this is the horizontal ground. And you are saying two points are apart on this ground. So let's say S can be here and then one can be, Y can be here. So they are seven meters apart. So let's assume the distance is seven meters. Now the angles of elevation of a point from X and Y are 50 and 70 respectively. So let's relax here and then read, continue reading. Q is a point on X, Y. Produce that angle Y, Q, P equals 90 degrees. So this Q is a point on this X, Y. So it can be anywhere, but it should give us 90 degrees. So we are going to have something like Q being here. A point here, let's see, this is Q. And it should give us 90 degrees. So we extend this. So I'm going to have 90 degrees here and here. Now let's come back to where we skip. The angles of elevation of a point from X and Y are 50 and 70 respectively. So the angles of elevation are 50 and 70 respectively. So that means that this X is for 50 and this Y is for 70. So the angle of elevation means that from here up to this point and then from here also to this point. So the angle here is 50 degrees and then the angle here is 70 degrees. Now here is going to be P. So this is the height. So now if the whole of this is 7 meters and we are going to let this side, one side to be let's say M. So if here is M, definitely this side is going to be 7 minus M. Now we want to find the distance from here to here. So we are going to consider using Sukatwa. Sukatwa. And this means that sine is opposite over hypotenuse and cos is adjacent over hypotenuse tangent is opposite over adjacent and looking at the diagram our opposite is the height over here hypotenuse is the longest bar and then the adjacent is the base so now we are going to consider triangle Q X K O P. So let's consider triangle S K O P. So we are focusing on S K O P. And looking at S Q P, we are giving adjacent and opposite, which is the height. So when we look at adjacent and opposite, it goes with tangent. So we are going to pick tangent. So tangent and then we write the angle, which is 50 equals tangent is opposite over adjacent and opposite, opposite is H, so H over adjacent is M. Now from here, we are going to make H the subject, so we do cross multiplication, this is over 1, so this multiply this, I am going to get M times 50. And 1 multiply each, we are going to get same as each. So this becomes equation 1. 
Now let's consider triangle P Q Y. So considering triangle P Q Y, we are going to have something like okay. This one we are also giving adjacent and then the opposites. So we are also going to use the sign. So again, tan 70 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent and opposite is h, h over adjacent is 7 minus m, 7 minus m. So we do cross multiplication, we are going to get 7 minus m into tan 70 degrees equals the height. So this becomes our equation 2. Now, since we are having both of the equations in height, we can equate the two. So now I'm going to equate equation 1 to equation 2. So when we do that, we are going to get m times 50 equals 7 minus m in multiplying times 70 degrees. Now for you can expand the bracket. We are going to get m times 50 degrees equals 7 times 70 minus m times this. We are going to get m and 70 degrees. Now, we are going to group like terms, the one involving M to one side and those without M to the other side. So what we do that, we are going to get M and 50 degrees. So we're going to bring this one to this side, plus M and 70 degrees equals 7 and 70 degrees. Now we are having m, m here. So we can factorize m out. So if m comes out, I'm going to get m into tan 50 plus tan 70 equals 7 tan 70 degrees. 7 tan 70 degrees. Now you want m, so we are going to divide this side by the whole of this to get our m. So m will be equal to 7 times 70 degrees all over tan 50 plus tan 70. So our m will be equal to, now let me use my calculator, 7 times 70 over tan 50 plus tan 70. Four point eight two two two. Four point eight two two. So I'm leaving it in three decimal places. So this is our value for M. Now we know M, so let's move on to II. Calculate correct to two decimal places the length of XP and B, KY. So let me clean this side. So we are finding the length of XP, XP, this one. But now we know the length of M to be 4.822. And we are finding this side. So meaning we are giving the hypotenuse and then adjacent. And from the Sukhata technique, we are having a adjacent and hypotenuse belonging to a cosine. Meaning, we are going to use cos. So, cos of 
50 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse and adjacent is m over hypotenuse xp that is what we are looking for xp now let's do cross multiplication so i'm going to get xp cos 50 equals m but you know m is equal to 4.822 so i'm going to get xp cos 50 equals 4.882 now i want xp so we divide this side by cos 50 so xp is equal to 4.882 all over cos 50 degrees now xp will be equal to let me use my calculator once again 4.882 divided cos 50 cos 50 7.59 so we are going to get 7.5950 but the question is saying we have to move it in two decimal place so this one this to this I'm going to get Let's say 8.00. Let me round it in this way. Now let's move on to I I the B, which is XY. So we have to find X XY, this length. And XY is 7 minus M. So XY. No, QY rather. QY. QY equals 7 minus m 7 minus m is 4.822 4.882 so this is equal to 7 minus 4.822 7 minus 4.882 I will get 2.118 so this will be the length of ky now let's move on to p B. So the B is saying we have to solve this equation. Carry x over one minus x plus two x all over x plus y, 1 equals 2. Now here, what we'll do first is that I'm going to multiply 2 with the LCM. And the LCM here is x minus y and x minus 1 minus x and x plus 1. So this will be our LCM. Now, I'm going to multiply 2 with the LCM. So we are going to get 1 minus x multiplying x plus 1. Multiply the whole of this times 3x all over 1 minus x plus 1 minus x multiplying x plus 1 plus times this one 2x all over x plus 1 equals 2 times the LCM 1 minus x into x plus 1. Now, x, 1 minus x cancel out 1 minus x. So we are left with 3x into x plus 1 plus x plus 1 also cancel out this x plus 1. So we are, going to, we are left with 2x into 1 minus x equals 2 into 1 minus x, x plus 1. Now let's expand the brackets. So we are going to get 3x times x, 3x squared, this times this plus 3x plus 2x times 1, 2x, 2x times minus x, I'm going to get minus 2x squared equals 
2 into 1 times s is x, 1 times 1 is 1, minus x times minus x, minus x squared, and then minus x times 1, I'm going to get minus x. So this minus s will cancel out this minus x. Now we are left with 3x squared minus 2x squared, I'm going to get x squared. 3x plus 2x, 5x. So this is equal to 2 into the bracket, I left it 1 and minus x squared. So I'm going to get 2 minus 2x squared. Now let's transpose this to the other side. So I'm going to get, when this cross the equal sign becomes positive, so 2x plus x squared plus 5x, when this cross becomes minus 2, equals 0. Now 2x squared, this is squared, so 2x squared plus x squared is going to give us 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. So we are having a quadratic equation. Now we are going to multiply the coefficient of x squared, which is 3, by the constant, which is minus 2. So when we do that, we are going to get 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Now we are going to look out for two numbers that when we multiply, we should get minus 6. And when we add, we should get 5. So I'm going to consider minus 6 and then 1, positive 1. So when I multiply minus 6 by 1, I'm going to have minus 6. And when I add, I'll add, I'll get um, minus 6, minus 5 by So let me do it, 6 and then minus 1. So 6 times minus 1, is giving me minus 6 and when I add I get positive 5 meaning that this will be true so I'm going to replace it over here 3 x squared plus 6x minus x minus 2 equals 0 now we have x x here can come out and 3 also can come out I'm going to get 3x out leaving 1x here plus 2. And when I factorize minus 1 out, I'm going to get s plus 2 equals 0. Always keep in mind that when dealing with quadratic equations, those two brackets that you get should always be the same. That's why I'm having s plus 2 and then s plus 2. Okay. So I'm going to consider what is outside the bracket and then pick one of the brackets. So we are going to have 3x minus 1 and then I will pick one of the brackets, s plus 2 equals 0. So it's either 3x minus 1 equals 0 or s plus 2 equals 0. Now when we, when we make a subject here, we are going to transpose this to the other side. So 3x equals one so s will be equal to one over three now here to s is equal to minus two so that will be our final answer for 